Hi guys, DevonTrexYZ, and this time around on the good, the bad, I decided to go with Hot Wheels Unleashed. Of course, this is the uh, Challenge Accepted Edition for from Walmart. Strange edition, really. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed, a typical toy-based racing game you know, made by Milestone, published by Mattel. And uh, yeah, it's a traditional traditional race uh, racing game uh, with uh, some unique twists onto it and you know some interesting features so let's dive right into it well for the good uh, what I can say right off the bat is the vast amount of cars you can choose in this game and at least as of right now of this recording there's like over 70 cars uh, of course there is a uh, ongoing I guess battle pass season pass is well both really <laughs> There's a couple of passes where I, I guess they're adding in additional uh, additional vehicles on top of that. And it seems like that's going to be the case maybe for upcoming seasons that, later, that are going to be popping up later on. But, uh, I mean, you do get a vast majority of, of, of cars from different styles from the past, you know, for those who have ever collected Hot Wheels. And they all have, like, different types of stats. A anything ranging from, like, you know, differences in speed, handling, uh, braking power... Uh, even different types of boosting abilities so you got a good variety uh the second thing i would probably say is the uh the number of tracks uh there are I, I, at least in the quick matches there are like good at least 30 probably like at least a good 30 to 40 different uh tracks to race on kind of vasking uh, well, ranging anywhere from like short tracks that only take a few minutes to complete to like very long ones that take roughly about three minutes to complete a lap <laughs> and even you got some that are kind of broken into like circuits where you got traditional lap based uh lap based races or you can do like long stretches from like start to finish goals so it gives you a good variety on that and then the third thing i would probably say is uh well i mean the fact that you can actually create your own tracks there is a track editor in the game where you can actually customize your own your own racing track and i mean you can really do any crazy thing you want i've seen i've seen plenty of crazy th crazy things online uh some of them ranging from decent tracks some of them ranging almost in kind of kaizo level type tracks where it's almost like near impossible to complete makes me wonder how some people even manage to validate those i i don't know but there are good varieties out there, and you know, again, as long as you have the imagination, you can really come uh, come up with any different types, going from a, a different swerves up and down hills. You can add like boosts and stuff like that, uh, barricades to impede your progress. So I mean, there's really a lot of things you can form. Well, for the bad, um, I, I guess a minor one for me would probably be the difficulty. Uh, while you can adjust difficulty in the game, you know, for the uh, the tour, the campaign mode, whatever you want to call it, you can adjust that. You can adjust it for also the quick race modes as well. Uh, I I do appreciate that, but it seems like it's just it goes from like like to the bottom to the top. You know, it just there's no in between levels of difficulty. It just it either becomes if you put it on easy, it just becomes too simplistically easy like you don't even have to try but like once you bump it up to like medium difficulty all of a sudden the, the competitors the ai just gets uh pretty challenging all of a sudden like they they will use their boost at a constant rate and that's only on medium difficulty uh it can go up to hard you can go up to extreme difficulties and i i've tried those and you have to be pretty much almost perfect to even really complete those races on any higher difficulty what I kind of wish is to maybe have more dif kind of more balanced difficulty or maybe like another difficulty in between that can maybe balance it out a little bit better. Uh, the second thing I would probably say is the, uh, the tremendous grind that you're going to be doing. <laughs> uh, there is two types of currency. You got the you got the hot wheels coins and you got the the gears. You basically use the coins to purchase cars out of out of the loot boxes and uh or you can just straight up purchase cars that are that keep refreshing every time in the store, and uh, I mean the problem with that is uh, you get a very ultra amount of coins for just winning races. Like in in the standard quick race in arcade mode, you get fifty coins. If you do online matches and if you manage to win, you get seventy coins. 
but like problem is like to even like like op uh, to buy a uh, car out of the well have a random chance to buy out of the the toy box whatever it takes 500 coins so you're going to be grinding consistently just to even have a chance to open up the box granted it has somewhat improved a little bit with the start of the season uh since you know some of the rewards you can get are additional coins and gears uh but you know i say gears is even worse because with the gears the gears allow you to upgrade your cars and uh but the problem is the only way to even get gears is to basically dismantle cars I mean, unless you've completed the campaign that's the only other way unless you haven't done the campaign yet the only way to really get gears is to dismantle your cars and then you get like a portion of, of gears added into your into your uh your inventory which even then it's still a heavy grind still a heavy grind and but again it's somewhat mitigated with the with the season the season pass or well the the battle pass would have called the racing pass but i mean once that's done once that's done though and you completed all of it there's not much to really do at that point it's just just continuously grinding then the third bad thing i would probably have to say uh is actually the the online multiplayer racing and not that there is it's not that i'm having a problem trying to find races the more problem is i i'm having a problem with people actually not wanting to race uh unfortunately it's been a continuous issue i guess since the start of the release of this game and the fact that a lot of people are just afking you get into a lobby of of uh, 12 players and you'd be lucky if like two or three of them even want to race <laughs> And everyone else though is just they're just stalling at the starting line and kind of almost intentionally creating like a, a, a hazard near the finish line too when you're trying to finish the race but um it's kind of a shame though because i would have liked to have actually had a full 12 player lobby where everyone's racing at once but um, unfortunately not everyone sees it that way and you know a lot of people are just using are just afking and they're just uh just racking up coins because you know they're not going to get much so why waste their time actually trying to race so they just, i guess they just figured just as long as you're in the lobby as long as someone finishes the race you get coins so kind of a shame really i mean i really wish there was a way to like mitigate that somehow or like maybe just add in uh just adding afk kicks or something just to get those people out of the lobby but that's just me well, for my conclusion, I would say uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed is a, uh, I say it's a pretty decent racing game. It builds off of nostalgia for those who have collected Hot Wheels in the past. And on top of that, I would say it is pretty competitive, you know, racing against your friends. And well, I guess if you can find people online to race, it's a, it's a pretty competitive one as well. Um, I mean, granted, if they could iron out the faults with the, the grinding system, you, you know, grinding for coins and gears if it could iron that out make it more easier to obtain stuff like that i would say that we could solve the grinding issue and probably even the afk issue with multiplayer and um i mean it, it could you know again kill two birds with one stone with that uh i do like the fact that you know it does add a variety for cars uh being able to have your own imagination to create your own tracks and even actually cr uh, customize your own vehicles to m make them even more unique as well so uh, you got a good variety right there uh i would say maybe if they could include like maybe additional modes on top of that on top of the time attack and quick races you know, like maybe like a secondary campaign or maybe some like party type game modes i would say it would be uh more playable you know more more unique than the, just typical racing uh i mean i say the at the very least it, it's a decent racing game but i mean i i kind of wish you can do a little bit more than just racing if you catch my drift like maybe like some of the crazy additions that you saw in in the past when you were a kid you know for your hot wheels toys i wish they could probably add those into the game that would have been something that would have been something but uh but i mean what we got I, i'd still say it's a pretty decent game and it's at least worth a try and with that i would give it a final score of a seven out of ten some faults here and there but overall it's a pretty decent racing game and it seems something that could be pretty charming for the time being and you know something i say that again something's worth really putting some time into it all right guys this is Duff Hunter xyz and until next time